Morning. All right. Morning. Where are we going? Somewhere in Vietnam. We're going to follow your wahoo and then see where it takes us. Fantastic. We're basically getting closer and closer to the mountains. Breathe again. Let your heart begin to see again. All you want is to believe again. And this the fire burning. Welcome back to Project Vietnam. Our destination today, Tai Hoa. It's another beautiful day. We managed to get out of the city very quickly this time and there's a car pulling out in front of us. Cheers, mate. You know when you're riding along and you catch someone's rear view mirror and you can see their face and you get eye contact. That doesn't happen here because everybody's mirrors are set up to look at their own face. That's why no one's checking them and that's why everyone just rides anywhere they want. As we said yesterday though, kind of just works. Just reading the signs that are on the road. <laughs> Some of them are quite good. What did that one say? Daily Hotel. What does that mean? Hello. You feeling a bit better today, mate? Yeah, much better, thanks, mate. I've been a bit coldy. Still don't feel great, but I'll get there. Could have been so. something you ate, could have been anything. Yeah. You just don't know here, do you? So I've, I've had loads of like, medicine. So, uh, yeah, I should, feel, I should be better. Medicine. Right the next two couple of days. Medicine. It comes in bottle form with a red label. Lost Lawrence again, because he insists on uh, trying alternate Roots. So he took a bridge and then he couldn't get back to us. It's quite funny. Should we just leave him? Let's go. So James is feeling a little bit fluey, but we've managed to avoid getting sick on the whole. We've stuck to a couple of main rules for the food. We never drink any tap water and try to avoid ice when they give it to us at restaurants. If it's commercially available ice, like with a hole in the middle, it's good. And then on top of that, avoiding the salads. Anything that's been like washed in the water or fruit that's been cut, just leave for a couple of weeks at least when your stomach gets used to it. Stick to those rules as a veggie and you're pretty much okay. I guess if you want to eat meat, make sure you know what it is and looks cooked. There's definitely been some questionable stuff on these boys' plates recently and uh, they've just left it. And we've managed to avoid food poisoning, so all good. We've done a third of the distance, so we'll stop and grab a Coke or something. Yeah, definitely. No, so I've got bottles of Coke. Happy. Right, okay. I'm, I'm going to have one of those because it's cold. Okay. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Okay, cool. Alright, perfect, thank you. It's got bits in it. Oh. So, uh, tip of the day for people visiting Vietnam. Bird's nest happy. Look. Shake well before use. It says, with 1% real natural bird's nest. Helps prevent depression and anti-aging. I'll be old, I'll just be fucking old. It's so childish, isn't it? <laughs> Right, we're about a third of the way through, but we've got some elevation coming, right? 600 meters, but we'll see. No, I think it's over... Um, yeah, yeah, it's in one go, pretty much. Isn't that like two box hills? Three. Yeah. It's going to be a bit lumpy from basically now until the end of the ride. This is definitely the record. God damn it, you're going. Most stuff on a scooter. A bit of elevation every now and then is actually quite nice when you're bikepacking. Yeah, uh, None of syndrome if you spend too long riding on the flat. Your IT bands and stuff get, start getting sore and you just want to get out of the saddle a bit. At least this will force us to do that. And I'm guessing the road's going to be drastically different. Maybe a little bit quieter as uh, the main road to be on the flat. I'm dead. I take it back, tubeless is quite good. Did it seal? Mm. Thought so. I'm going to eat my words. Okay, okay. I hope there's one of these on the way up the case on. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> He's a pro. <sighs> so this man has just towed us all the way up the hill on the back of his truck. Thank you. <laughs> so that was a relatively easy climb because we uh, held onto the back of that guy's truck. We've now got another one about the same size coming up. Maybe there'll be a truck again. Then it's kind of rolling descent all the way home. It's been the quietest day we've had so far. Really nice, really nice break mentally because so uh, there's been less traffic. 
Please don't leave my camera behind. <laughs> possible but the people have got more friendly now we're out in all this farmland and stuff everyone just runs up and waves at you and all sorts having fun yeah mate living the dream you yeah this is awesome isn't it totally pretty much all the elevation out of the way now it's definitely the heat that puts you off eating pretty much done this whole ride just on fizzy drinks and a tiny bit of bread but you lose your appetite these days aren't too big so it doesn't matter too much but uh when we hit the 100 mile days i think we're gonna have to force some food down you can ride two abreast here as much as you like even when those big trucks come in they use the horn not in an aggressive way just to let you know that they're on the way and then you can single out but they're few and far between you can pretty much just ride next to each other all day and no one cares it's so relaxed you have to remind yourself to pay attention sometimes just because it's so chill you two it takes a fucking eternity to do anything with either of you in time oh atm i have only got one million dong left Welcome to this place. We are now going this direction to get some food. As usual, not sure what the food's gonna be, but also as usual, it's gonna be nice. Is that a hotel? No. no. Otherwise we'd have stayed there. <laughs> In nearly every one of the hotels, it's a little switch you have to turn on to get the hot water to work. James always goes for a shower first forgets there's a switch, thinks there's only cold water in the hotel and ends up having a shower. And then we turn it on and have a hot shower. Lovely and warm. Oh, so warm. Seasonal vegetables and instant noodles. So sting net, stinging nettle. Oh, they might be nice. Sweet potatoes. Can we get stinging What? Why would you get stinging yeah. nettle? They're making us cook our own food. That's squid balls, chicken and um, some stuff. Lawrence has just got pissed off and walked off to go and find some food. He's come back now. Oh, brother. What you did? <laughs> what is it? Looks like a witch's cauldron. We've just put everything inside there. I'm gonna take the vegan things out and eat them, even though the water's got like raw chicken in it. Mate, there's nothing raw in there, I'll tell you that for free. Ah. One, two, three. Come on. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Where it goes? How do you know if an octopus is ready? I don't know. How do you know if an octopus is ready? <laughs> Sounds like the beginning of a bad joke. <laughs> I'm about to find out. Bang. Yes. Now it's not usually this dark around here. I guess they're off grid and all the power's gone down. So the restaurant we were sitting in just now, all the power went down there as well. <laughs> People just kind of deal with it. These guys are just looking for their stuff in the shop with their phone lights. It's just, you just gotta keep going, I guess. I bought snacks. Pizza snacks. It's truly really remarkable. Yeah. Like how long he takes to do things. 